Hey, Mr. Parka here to review one from E1 uh, Entertainment. This is uh, Girl House. The screener was sent to me, and uh, I didn't know anything about this movie until uh, the press uh, email came to me. I uh, watched the trailer, and I was like, that looks actually pretty decent. So, actually, I watched it, and it was a very pleasant surprise. Uh, sometimes some of the ones that uh, you uh, enjoy the most are ones you don't know much about or have no expectations for because they haven't been hyped up. And this is definitely the case with Girl House. Uh, I mean, I must say that internet horror has come a long way since the, since Strangeland, to be honest. Uh, essentially what we have here is a struggling college girl. She decides to do this porn site. Uh, she doesn't do the hardcore stuff. Essentially it's just uh, six girls living in a house and uh, they get paid by the more views they're on, on them. So uh, she's kind of just showering and things like that. But it's an interactive site. So the people from all around the world are watching and uh, so there's this guy uh, named Loverboy who's been watching and uh, he's got a lot of psychological issues as the opening of the film would suggest which is a really weird kind of powerful opening scene it's just kind of disturbing and it sets this character up uh, I think that the guy who played him did a great job. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the same guy when uh, the mask gets put on, but when he doesn't have the mask on, he, he really had a presence. He, was re he really did a good job. He was very creepy and very effective. Essentially, he's a kind of a computer whiz who ends up hacking their system uh, because he feels rejected, and uh, he's definitely, uh, he ends up uh, breaking into the girl house, which is supposed to be a secret location, and uh, attacking everybody and killing a bunch of people. So it essentially it turns into a slasher film. But uh, I noticed some uh, shout-outs in here, which were pretty cool, uh, to old horror films. Uh, the Loverboy character has this type of mannequin sitting in the back, which definitely reminds me of Maniac. And, you know, the sexual perversity in him, uh, his hatred for women, his misogynistic attitude. Well, he's just such a, you know, uh, he's so such a shut-in he can't interact with human beings kind of reminded me in a way of joe spinell for maniac and of course i believe the mannequin is kind of a shout out to uh, you know joe spinell and not to mention uh uh the the mask that he actually puts on reminds me of something that leatherface might wear uh definitely kind of has like the the feminine leather face mask but essentially he puts this mask on and invades uh you know the girl house and he's the kind of a slasher with the kind of adrenaline pumping running sprinting grunting yelling growling not so much the one-liner although he does have some one-liners which I, I believe would have been best not in it at all i thought he was way more effective being silent he was actually very scary silent uh but uh the the girls in here are all, you know, uh, people will find them highly attractive and things like that. There's there's uh, plenty of TNA. But uh, you know what I enjoyed about this movie the most, uh, besides the killer being actually terrifying, was uh, the, the main girl. I, I liked her. She she was, uh, the final girl was actually, you know, likable person. Uh, you kind of uh, got behind her. I mean, she, she was doing the porn because she was trying to stay in college and things like that. So you kind of feel for her. And... Most of the people in the movie, uh, you don't really hate them. Some of them are stereotypes, like the super vain girl. There's like a, a drug addict. But a couple of them are uh, fairly likable, fairly decent people. Uh, especially, like I said, the lead, which also helps. Uh, and, of course, there's a there's a love story with it. Uh, you know, her boyfriend, spot, uh, old friend, old person that liked her, spotted her on Girl House website. And so he gets involved with her. And he sees, uh, lots of people see this attack online, which is kind of a cool angle on it. So people are calling the police, but they have no clue where where it is uh there is a couple weird things in the film i think there's a couple scenes of like weird out of place comedy uh one of the characters is watching he's like i'm never going to another porn site again i'm gonna need therapy after this and it just comes off really kind of comical even though it, it, maybe somebody would say something like that but it's just i, I felt it was kind of out of place but uh then again maybe i'm Maybe I'm in the, you know, the minority here. But anyways, uh, you know, it, it is a solid slasher film. Uh, like I said, internet horror has come a long way with stuff like The Den coming out. Uh, well, it's already been out, but The Den. And, you know, just from instant messages in Strangeland, uh, it, it's come a long, uh, long way. Like I said, it is cool that it's interactive. It, it sets up creep creepy moments and you know you can get some you know easy scares near with there's somebody behind you and stuff like that but it actually has justification in this movie uh like i said good uh strong lead uh enjoyed her character uh scary killer uh pretty grisly uh deaths actually a lot of them are uh there's a couple that are you know okay here and there they're not uh necessarily the most original kills or anything like that but when you come to a slasher film you know you kind of have to rate the kills it's almost like a you know, one of the parts of the genre, but uh, they're they're 
brutal and effective. Like I said, uh, this one is uh, going to be a pleasant surprise, I think. Uh, pretty pretty uh, gruesome in ways. Like I said, kind of uh, odd to have the comedy elements in there at points. But uh, I did, uh, the opening also sets the mood fairly well. I was kind of surprised by that. But yeah, check out Girl House. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, you know, Cullibus or something like that, too, being trapped in the house. But I enjoyed this one. Uh, check it out. Uh, high kill count. Uh, uh, TNA. Cool characters. Uh, we'll delete uh, the killer and the main girlfriend are my favorites, but some of the other ones are, are decent as well. But uh, I'm Mr. Parker. I'm not sure when this comes out. It'll be up on the uh, top or the description box. All the info you need to know or ever wanted to know about the movie. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Okay, ladies. I think it's time. Yes. Oh, yeah. mm. Let's go. Time for what? <laughs> Hey boys, here I am. Have you been on the internet lately? Porn is not what it used to be. I mean, it's totally different now. It's mainstream and accepted. There's no stigma. Nobody cares. Welcome to Girl House, sweetie. So, like, hundreds of guys are watching us right now. No, thousands at any given moment. Dude, I know that girl. You know this creature. Not possible. Sorry, lover boy. You just missed me. You really are a pathetic freak. Turn around. <gasps> Somebody is on to kill everybody. It's for our show. This is insane. There has to be some way to find them. <laughs>